Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 37 of my collection log series. Um, in the last episode, we got extremely lucky, so spoiler alert ahead. Um, we're starting off with 558 unique items, but if we pop over to the Guardians of the Rift, we managed to pull the Abyssal Protector at a very, very low KC. Uh, unbelievable. But uh, we also managed to do pretty well at Cerberus, pulling in the Jar of Souls and um, a Smoldering Stone with 316 KC, so not too, too bad at all. We also managed to go get ourselves a Fighter Torso, which I'm super happy about. Uh, I will be able to ditch the Bando's Chestplate sooner or later if I feel like it, but uh, the stats are coming along pretty nice. I believe I'm going to do a little bit of agility because it was driving me nuts. Maybe get that rune crafting up. It's, uh, it's base 70 now for everything, which is really awesome to see. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's just go right into it and uh, sit back and enjoy. And beautiful. It's looking like we are going to get a donation from uh, Dana White again. Uh, thanks a lot, bro. Let's go head on over to the GE and meet up with him. How much are we going to add to the Maple Seed Collection today? Ooh, nice pet. I'm digging that very much. But uh, how you doing today, buddy? Thanks again. I really appreciate it. So uh, how much are we going to add today? We're looking at uh, 25 more seeds, so 500k dono coming in. Absolutely love to see it, man. I really, really appreciate it. I want to get this uh, collection up really, really high for you guys because I really think it's going to be amazing to have that massive giveaway when I hit uh, 750 unique items. That is what I have it set to, but cheers, man. I really, really appreciate it. You're an absolute legend. All right, so before I hit a hundred laps at the Apatool Agility Course, I figure I better go get the monkey that's hiding in this crate over here. You can get this after Monkey Madness 2, obviously, but I totally blanked on it. But uh, let's just put it on, and he's just uh, hes just so cute, isn't he? Look at him. He just hangs around on your shoulder. Very, very useless item, but you know what? At least we got him now. Let's go upgrade him. All right, so this is going to be 100 laps completed at the Apatol Agility course, um, which is amazing, I guess. Uh, we got to do a hell of a lot more to complete this section of the collection log, but boom, there we go. That is 100 laps done, and now we can transform the monkey, I believe, into the Karamjan monkey. Um, it just literally changes the way this looks, so we're going to transform him. Yeah, uh, the Karamja monkey, and Shazam, <laughs> there we go. A new collection log item coming in the Karamjan monkey so we pop open the collection log actually you know, let's take a look quick yeah there we go he looks kind of cool he's got a little mo or mohawk going on there but we pop open the collection log and head on over to the monkey backpack section that is one out of six so not too too bad and 559 unique items um, I'm probably gonna go get myself a uh, the next level of this because I need to get 75 agility anyway so yeah not bad all right, so with the 208th lap of the Ape Atoll Agility Course, we are going to get ourselves 75 agility on the account, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it was driving me mental at Cerberus, not being able to jump over the floor. Um, but uh, beautiful, there we go. We can use the Priftinus Agility Course and the Rev Cave and Forthos Dungeon shortcuts too, so not too, too bad at all. Um, got 42 more laps to go, and we will upgrade this to the new monkey. All right, so as I power up the Great Guardian here, we're going to hit 71 rune crafting, which means rune crafting is officially tied as the lowest stat with uh, fishing and cooking. So never really thought that was going to happen, but uh, I guess it has not too, too bad. So I've got myself together 28 more rewards uh, to open up here, but let's just pop open the Guardians of the Rift uh, collection log section here and take a look. As we can see, uh, 3 out of 15 for the Guardians of the Rift. You love seeing that pet there. I'm still, I still got a smirk on my face from that one, boys. I'm not going to lie, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to open this up and uh, see if we have any sort of luck here. I doubt we're going to pull anything ridiculous, but you never know. We might get one of more or one of the more common uniques if we're semi lucky. But uh, so far, it's just looking at pretty average loot. But uh, oh, there we go. That's some more Abyssal Pearls. I'm not going to complain about that at all because we need to get those one way or the other. Oh, there we go. Some more of them. So some of these openings, I imagine, aren't going to be too eventful. But I feel like maybe I should continue to uh, just show them anyway gives more of an accurate representation of what you you're truly getting when you open these kind of things um yeah it's great to show off the the really good footage where you actually get crazy stuff but it's not always the case so yeah oh you know what <laughs> as i say that there we go a catalytic talisman coming in on the account um i'm not quite sure what the rarity is there but uh, i'm not going to complain 
at all. I uh, don't think it's worth very much, but uh, beautiful. It looks like we're filling it out left to right as well. But the Catalyst the Talisman coming in 4 out of 15 and 561 unique items overall. Not too, too bad at all. I'm not sure how long the Guardians of the Rift game is going to take to actually complete the section, but having the pet out of the way is always a really, really nice sight to see. Uh, 63 Abyssal Pearls coming in as well. So yeah, not going to complain at all. I do, can't remember how many you need for the outfit, but it's quite a bit. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Hopefully we have a bit more luck in the future, but at least we managed to pull one more unique. Probably going to get 72 Runecrafting and try it again. All right, so I just hit 72 runecrafting, and we've got another 35 rewards to open here. We're just going to check how many times have we opened this 60 times so far. So a very, very long way to go here. But uh, you know what? Let's just jump right back into it again. And holy crap, and a green abyssal die right out of the gate. Yeah, oh my god, sorry, guy. And abyssal pearls. Man, that's a nice pull. If you ask me, I don't know the rarity on that, but uh, I'd love to see a unique here again. And uh, yeah, coming in with the green green abyssal dye um, that's pretty cool i mean it's just recoloring stuff but you know what uh yeah five out of 15 for the guardians of the rift and 162 abyssal pearls so not too bad 562 items overall we are making progress boys we're making progress all right, boys, this one's going to feel real, real good to get done. I just managed to stew up, and uh, as you can see with my Hellcat following me, we do have the boost, so we're going to create ourselves some blood runes, and there we go. We've not only completed an elite task in Korand and Kebos, but we've also completed our master clue that we've had sitting there for a while. So you know what? Got a couple unique items. We've managed to complete another master step. Happy days, right, guys? Happy days. All right, this is going to be a 73 thieving coming in on the account. I'm really, really disappointed that the master step that we got next was <laughs> we need to get to the seventh floor of Pyramid Plunder, which is horrible. It's 81, non-boostable, but we are going to continue to grind it out, and hopefully we can complete this master clue at some point. All right, come on, is this going to be it? There we go. That is going to be a 74 thieving coming in on the account, which is uh, just uh, terrible. We still have seven levels to go, so, you know, fuck my life. All right, so as I pick lock this door, that is a 75 thieving coming in, and uh, yeah, you know what? Pyramid Plunder sucks, but uh, at least the XP is pretty decent. It's not terrible. I'm getting around like 120k XP an hour, so not bad. All right, this is going to be 76 thieving coming in, and oh my god, guys, we're just going to have to buckle down and uh, just grind it out, right? Oh, fuck off, Earn. Come on. And there we go. That is 78 thieving coming in on the account, which, uh, yeah, three more levels to go, boys, but uh, yeah, what else is there? Oh, we can steal from the chest in Dorgish Khan now, so not bad. Oh my god, come on. There we go. That is a 79 thieving coming in on the account. Oh my god, two more levels to go. All right, come on. Come on. And beautiful. That is 80 thieving coming in on the account. We are just one level away from being able to do this goddamn master step. And apparently we can pickpocket heroes. So nice. All right, boys. The moment has come. Come on. Let's see it. And beautiful, that is 81 thieving coming in on the account. Oh my god, that is such a relief. I made sure to bring my Master Clue gear with me, but we can now move on to the seventh room of this stupid pyramid. Let's go. Ooh, 300 XP. You know what? I'll take it, but uh, not the correct door. I am just... Oh, oh my god, I am so just tired of doing this, but thank god it's over with, and oh uh, crap, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, I'm tired, I'm tired, this is happening, but uh, let's uh, do this master clue step now, we got our pharaoh scepter, we got everything ready, and um, oh my god, it's a double agent, I just realized they forgot a whip, or a weapon in general, oh for god's sakes, you know what, we're gonna try and kill it, and uh, I'm sure we should be able to do it, let's do it. All right, so we are flicking piety because I really, really don't want to end up uh, having to come all the way back up here. But he is dead, and guess what, guys? This is, without a doubt, a master casket because it was the last step no matter what. Oh, my God, boys. The grinds feel good to finally be over. How much XP do I get? 675. So, you know what? Maybe not too, too bad in the future, right? 
All right, guys, you know what? I had a good think about it, and you know, we're sitting here at Castle Wars. You know what that means. We're going to do a little bit of a clue opening here. Not a ton to open, but uh, we've got one medium, nine elites, and a singular master to open. So if we just pop open the collection log real quick, we're going to see we're at 73 out of 115 for mediums. Uh, nice little collection at the top there. Three out of 59 for the elites, and uh, one out of 49 for the masters. So not too, too bad. Only done 13 of them. Probably going to get a couple from... From the elite opening anyway but let's just get started and what are we gonna get 60k from the medium clue with 318 coming in let's go elite come on and 133k just terrible it doesn't get much worse than that but uh actually 91k apparently it does get worse come on and there is the master clue uh what is it gonna be uh we can do that all right, follow the bard. Here is your infernal axe. Are we going to get a casket? This is step number six. And hey, we did get one. So uh, that makes two. Um, let's get back to the opening. All right, so we've got six more elite caskets to open. We got two masters down in the corner now, which is nice to see. What are we going to get? 194k, the best loot so far. 134k, come on. Why are elites so bad? 200k, can we at least get a unique uh, and you know what? 77k. That's terrible. But we did get a master. And it's a long ass one. Let's go do it. All right, Sherlock. I swear to God. Do not troll me. Just give me something easy. Come on. What do we got? Angle for an angler fish. Well, sporting the finest fishing gear. <laughs> Why does this game hate me right now? Oh, that's 77 fishing. That's not that bad, but it's just such a grind right now. Like, oh, I'm not in the mood for that. I'm pretty sure it's 82, which 70, or, you know, 77 boosts it up. Let's check. Let's check. Where is angler fish? Is it uh, rod fishing? Is that where it is? Oh, 82. It hurts, boys. It hurts. But uh, I guess we're going to go get 77 fishing. So, uh, yeah, you know, fuck my life all over again. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. This is it. 77 fishing coming in on the account at Temporos. Oh, my God. I, and when I say at Temporos, I mean all of it was done here. So, yeah, I've been here for a very, very long time. But uh, let's finish out this kill and see what we got to work with. All right, so with that kill, we are at 179 KC at Temporos, which is uh, crazy. I don't know how many kills I got here. Probably close to 100, but 397 reward permits to cash in. I did not use any of them as tempting as it was, and I'm sure that some of you right now are going to be like, how the hell did you have the restraint? But uh, I was just like, you know what? Maybe if I open a crap ton, I'll be able to get something good. But anyway, 398 cashed in and 397 seven to go so literally double the amount that i've opened only missing the harpoon fish the pet in the tome but uh i'm probably gonna have to speed this up for you guys not gonna lie because it is a fairly slow opening kind of system but uh oh i gotta type in my pin
Alright guys, not gonna lie, starting to get a little depressed, but a hundred left to go here, fishy fishies, come on, give us some good luck, let's see something. All right, guys, we've got 10 more rewards to open here. And uh, not going to lie, I have I don't have high hopes for this at this point. This is uh, really, really depressing. But uh, you know what? It is what it is. I, I got extremely lucky at Guardians of the Rift pulling a pet and stuff. But it still would have been nice to at least see the harpoon fish or something. But I guess I'm still like halfway to drop rate when I really take a look at it. But there we go. 397 reward permits and absolutely nothing to show for it minus some minor loot which is what uh just shy of a mill 28 caskets and some spirit flakes i mean i guess the spirit flakes could be useful down the road i mean they give you a chance of like catching double the fish or some shit but uh yeah i don't know what that'd be good for maybe when i'm just grinding out the pet or something maybe hunt anglers but uh gonna open up these caskets anyway and just to see what's in them i can't remember what the loot's like i don't think it's anything very you know significant but uh yeah let's just pop it open i'm just gonna spam click them oh we got a medium clue you know maybe some rangers or something there but uh unlikely but yeah, not too, too bad, I guess, from these 28 caskets. What are we looking at? 300k, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, they're about 10k apiece, so nothing nothing crazy. A little depressed, boys, not gonna lie, but we shall carry on, right? All right, this is the moment we have been waiting for. Admiral Pie up, and uh, yeah, I don't know if it takes a while to catch these or not. Throw on preserve, but uh, yeah, come on, let's see it. And there we go, and... Uh, yeah, we finally did the step. Let's go get another one. All right, Sherlock, take your clue back, and what are we going to get? Show this to Sherlock. I swear to God. I swear to fucking God. Do not troll me. Oh, what are we going to get? Come on. And, uh, dice. Oh, my fucking God. Dissect a sacred eel. That's 82 fishing. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, I hate this game right now. Honest God, I fucking hate this. All right, boys, I gave it a good thought, and I just can't justify getting 82 fishing right now. I'm I'm honestly getting really frustrated uh, with these masters, so I said, fuck it, we're just going to open these up, and hopefully we have some luck. Let's start with the elites, and uh, you know what, 120k, just the icing on the cake right now, but... Uh, there we go, last elite, let's go, and hey, there we go, a musketeer hat coming in. Okay, that boosts the spirits a little bit. Not gonna lie, this is, um, it's been really, really uh, discouraging a bit, just constantly having to grind out every single step, but uh, let's pop up in the elite section here, and there we go, musketeer hat coming in for uh, 4 out of 59 as well from 24 clues, so I mean, I mean, that's not horrible, that's like, what, 1 every 6 that I'm averaging, so not too bad, I guess, but... Uh, <sighs> okay, a little bit of faith back. We got a unique. It's been days. I'm not joking since I've, like, I don't even know the last unique I got, honestly. But uh, here we go. Uh, nothing to show for the 14th Master. Master Casket number 15 coming in. Come on, let's just see something good. Hey, there we go. A torture ornament kit coming in. You know what? That is what I needed to see right now. A nice 5 mil to the bank as well. Okay, you know what? We're happy. We're happy. I'm still not doing 82 fishing right now. I've just I can't fucking be asked. I'm not I'm not lying, but uh there we go. Let's pop up in the master section. We got a little ornament kit line going on here too. It's pretty nice to see. I wonder if we'll get the anguish next. That'd be pretty cool. But uh two out of forty-nine and five sixty-four overall. Whew. All right, that feels a little better, guys. Not gonna lie, it was getting a little discouraged. So you love to see that. Nice five mil to the bank. 
All right, so here we are standing inside of Sophonim because the new quest Beneath Cursed Sands has been released. Um, and yeah, I gave the wiki a good look over and um, it doesn't seem too crazy. There's a pretty, I think, fairly intense boss fight in this quest. But uh, other than that, the stat requirements and such are not too, too bad. Um, so I have everything, obviously. And uh, I think my gear will be more than sufficient to complete this quest. But uh, yeah, there's an agility requirement, crafting, um, fire making, and uh, yeah, um, not, not nothing too crazy. But anyway, let's just uh, jump into it and see how this quest is because it is going to unlock um, the Tombs of Emma Scott. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is the Raids 3, which I am going to be on uh, hopefully for day one release kind of stuff. I really want to get right on it for a change and you never know, maybe pull some like ridiculous item and make, you know, billions. But uh, anyway, I digress. Let's uh, Let's get on with the quest and see how it goes. All right, so we're about to start the first boss fight of this quest, um, and I uh, looked over the wiki. It's got a decent amount of special abilities or whatever, but it doesn't seem too, too difficult. It is pretty strong, apparently, but uh, we're, I got you use ranged gear to fight it. But anyway, let's see how this fight goes. There's a couple ones. I think there's something you need to dodge. It's like a shadow attack or something. Holy, holy shit, boys. Oh, my God. We almost just got one shot. Okay, I believe that's what you're supposed to dodge, so uh, <laughs> make sure to dodge that one. Holy shit, whoa. All right, so I believe this is going to be the kill, and holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Be careful if you're hardcore, I'm telling you. Be very, very careful. But first attempt, it's killed. Uh, let's continue on with the quest and uh, see where it goes. All right, so this fight was significantly easier than the first boss, which I found a little strange, especially considering it's a stronger, like, higher combat level. So, uh, yeah, there's this shadow attack here. You just got to quickly destroy it, and it does this other attack where it freaks out, and oh, that's it. And you got to stand right behind it, and it shoots those lightning bolts, and uh, it can hit, like, a 75. But uh, there we go. That's the kill. And we should be right close to the end of the quest here. So, sweet. Let's uh, Let's go finish up. All right, so this is going to be the end of the quest, and uh, not too bad of a quest if I do say so myself. And there we go. That is Beneath Cursed Sands completed for two quest points, 20k agility XP. You'll love to see that. A Karis Partisan and a Circlet of Water. So that's a new item you're going to be using at the, um, I'm assuming it's going to be extremely useful at Raid 3. And a Circlet of Water is like an unlimited water skin, I guess, that you can wear. Also, we got 289 quest points, which means we have our quest cape back, which is uh, always nice to see. But uh, pretty excited for the new raid to come out because, uh, you know what, I, I've kind of got raids on the brain a little bit right now. I, I'm, I'm getting to the point where my, my combat stats are right about there, and uh, that actually looks pretty pretty sick not gonna lie kind of reminds me of a staff of light though so but it looks pretty cool what does this look like and makes me look like a dweeb but uh anyway not too too bad at all all right, guys, that is going to do it for episode 37. Um, I just want to say I apologize for how long this episode took to come out. I have been so busy um, just working my ass off in real life. So, uh, yeah, we're finishing off the episode with 564 unique items, so not too, too bad. And as you can see, I'm standing outside of Vorkath. I kind of have that on the brain. I want to learn how to use the Dragon Hunter Lance and maybe make a decent amount of money. But uh, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Turn that notification bell on. And as always, have a good one, guys.